Okay, guys. So the last session, what we have covered, uh, like uh, we have uh, installed this uh, Selenium dependencies, and uh, we learned uh, there are multiple way to launch your browser. So that part we have learned. And uh, today I'm going to cover a few uh, like basic Selenium command and uh, the synchroni synchronization part. So like once you start working on your uh, real life project, that time what will happen? Uh, if you don't, you don't, if you don't have the proper idea of synchronization, uh, that time you know like your uh, test case will fail. So when you have to give some wait time or like when, when you have to, you know, like use this state dot sleep or anything, right? So that things I'm going to cover today. So first let me share my screen. And this is Eclipse. Yeah, so till this part we have uh, covered in the last class. So today, uh, what I'm going to say, uh, so see this, uh, we have created this driver uh, object of the new Chrome driver. And we are passing this uh, reference of this uh, web driver interface, right? So now with the help of this particular uh, driver, we can access all uh, available Selenium command or the, the Selenium method inside this web driver, right? So this was the first uh, method like driver.get to launch your uh, browser. Sorry, uh, launch your this uh, Flipkart site or any URL if you will pass it. So there is one another way uh, to navigate uh, to any URL and that is driver dot navigate. So if you are using this one, navigate dot two, and here if you are putting any uh, URL, again, it will help you to navigate to this particular URL. So let's see uh, if I want to search anything. So I want to search uh, this uh, Amazon dot in. I'm just copying this and I can put it here. Okay, so let's see if I'm going to run this command, what will happen? So the first time is launched. Uh, okay, so I have not put any wait time, so it's very fast. What I will do, uh, I will use some thread dot slip here. And here we can pass some, let's say five seconds. And what we sorry. So we have to import some thread. Okay, so add pro surround with try catch. Okay, so I'm throwing this relation. So what will happen? Now it will wait for five seconds and after that we'll uh, help to navigate to this uh, Amazon website. So again, I will run. You can see first time it's launched the flip card. Now it's waiting for five seconds. And now it's navigated to this Amazon.in. So this is a, another command like which help to uh, your navigating to any particular URL. So either you can use this driver.get or driver.navigate.2. So if you again uh, type the same command, driver.navigate and dot. So here you can see there are multiple uh, method is coming, right? So navigate dot back. Okay, so I will just write uh, all available command and then I will explain you what all things are is there. So navigate dot back, then navigate dot forward. Then we have again, navigate dot to refresh also we have, I guess, yes. So navigate dot refresh. So like, according to your requirement, you, you can see like there are multiple command available, right? So what this navigate dot back will do? So let's see you are uh, at any uh, particular website or any URL, right? And after that, let's see you have clicked to uh, anything. Let's see you have selected this electronics. And again, if you want to go back to the previous page, right? So that time, if you, what you are doing, you are clicking this uh, back button, right? So this command will help you to uh, let you back to the previous screen. And again, this forward, uh, forward, what it will do? 
again if you after coming to this screen if you will uh, do that one what it will do it will uh, forward to the next screen so before that what i am going to do let's see this amazon uh, website launched and after that i want to click this uh, mobile so let's see i will inspect this element and i will write the x path of this mobile so you can see there is one link here and this is a mobile so with the help of this mobile i can write the x path so control find and after that what i will do start contents okay so there are five element it is showing so this mobile is the second element so what i will do i will give the second index here okay so now you can see uh, this mobile is highlighting right once i i have written this one you can see here uh, this mobile will highlight and here you can see there is only one element so this is the x path of this particular element so see if you don't uh, know how to write the x path uh, don't worry uh like i will uh, cover like uh, in one class so, like there are multiple way to writing the x path but as of, as of now you just understand uh, what i have done with the help of this particular text you can see this mobile right so with the help of this particular mobile this is a text right and this is the way to writing the x path uh, with the help of text so contents text and mobile so this is like the partial text if i will write this uh, this one as well let's see only mobile also uh, still it will highlight okay and what i am doing mobiles so this is mobile right okay so now it's highlighting so there was before five element and this mobile have the second index so that's why i have put this index second so i will cover this uh, thing later like uh, how to write the x path but as of now you just understand uh, this is the x path of that particular mobile and what i have done so we came to here and after that i want to click to that particular element so again for clicking an element what you have to do first you have to access that particular element so driver dot find driver dot find element and again here you have to write by dot x path and here i am going to write the Value of that particular x path. What we have copied from there, right? So this is the x path. Okay. So I, I will uh, explain you like what is the find, what is the by x path, and all. But as of now, you just understand this line of code will help you to the access of that particular element. Which element? So this mobile. And once you access that particular element, after that you have to perform the action on that particular element, right? So what I want to do, I want to click to that particular element. So again, I have already access, and then once you uh put this dot you can see there are multiple uh, method available here right so i want to click so for that what you have to do one second this one dot click right so you can see here click and i click so this line of code will help you to click to that particular element and after clicking there what i want to do again i will wait for some time let's see so you can see the screen what happening there and then i want again back to the particular home page so i have written this particular back button then again i will just wait for 2 second here not 5 second let's say i'm giving only 2 second so it will help you to go back to home page again and after that navigate dot forward so again it will help you to navigate forward and again this dot refresh will refresh your page so let's see i will run all command like one shot so let's see what happening here run as java application Okay, I will rerun this one. 
actually what happened here. And at the end, I want to quit driver as well because every time the driver is opening, but it's not closing. So driver dot quit. Let's have quit this driver. And before doing anything, I will close this all driver of end one. Okay, so we are here and I want to maximize driver as well. So once we have initialized the driver here, before doing anything, I want to maximize it. So let's see after launching here only, I will maximize. So driver dot manage dot window dot maximize. So this line of code will help you to maximize the driver. So once the Chrome browser will open, and then it will maximize it. Then it will navigate to Flipkart. It wait for five seconds, then navigate to Amazon. Then it will uh, tap on that mobile. After tapping, uh, it will uh, like navigate to next page, right? So after this, it will again go back, again forward, and then refresh at the end. So let's see what happening here. So I will run again. The one is the uh, application. So you can see this <coughs> Amazon launch, then it's click to this uh, particular mobile, then again it's back, then it's forward, and then it refresh at the end and quit. So this line of code will help you do this thing, right? So like that, there we have like multiple command available, like the multiple method available into uh, Selenium. And as per our requirement, uh, we can access the uh, all of that method, right? So now, uh, I will go like a uh, few important uh, method like which we'll use in the like the daily purpose. So here you can see this click option, right? And if I want to write anything in any text box, so at that time, what you will do? The same thing, you, what you have to do here, you have to uh, inspect that particular element. So I want to type anything in this type box. So you can see here text ID and I will write the X path with, with the help of ID. So control C here, what I will do, I will write X path. So here input is there. So you can see the tag was input. I will tell you once again, input at ID equal to, okay. So you can see here, uh, this tag is input, right? So I have written input. And after that, I want to write the XPath with the help of ID. So here you can see ID equal to this one, right? So the same thing I've copied here and I have written at the ID equal to that the value, right? So after that, you can see it is highlighting here. Once you will tap here, correct? And we have only one element with the help of this uh, particular XPath. So this XPath will work. So what I will do here, I will come here. Mm -hmm. I can here and after that, what I will do to create that slip. I will comment this all line with all these things we don't require. Okay. So it clicked to that particular mobile. And after that, what I want to do, uh, I want to search something. So let's see driver dot find element. So find element. It will help to, uh, you know, like get the, any particular element and element by what? So I want to get element by X path. So by dot X path. And here again, I have to put the X path. So X path is, was this one. So this line will help to access that particular element. And after, once you get that element, what you have to do? You have to perform any action on that particular element, right? So if you want to click, we have to uh, use this click one, but I want this time, here I want to pass some particular value, right? Uh, so I let's say I want to search iPhone. So let's see what I will do. Here I will do this dot send keys. So this send keys command will help to type anything in your text box. And after that, I will pass some string. So I want to search iPhone, right? So send keys and iPhone, okay? So let's see, once you type here iPhone manually, Okay, 
so after that what do you want you want to search here right so again you have to click to this uh, this particular search box so let's say again i will inspect this search box and here you can see this id equal to this one so again what you have to do simply you have to change this id that's it and you can see it is highlighting this search box here now that search icon so i will again copy this one and i will come here and the same line of command i will write again driver dot find element and by dot x path and here i get again i will put the same x path which i had copied so this x path and then dot click because i want to click there right so x path dot click is not working why driver dot find element your x path and dot Let's see if some issue is coming here. Okay, so we have missed something, I guess. What I will do, I will just copy this one above one. And I will simply change this particular X path. Okay, so you can see it's working. So might be we have missed some breaks or something. So because of that, this click is not working here. So I will just remove. So what I've done again, I've written the same uh, line of command. I have given the X path and dot click. So let's see what's happening here. I will run this. Launch the star. Then it's navigated to Amazon. Tap mobile. Then you can see this iPhone has been searched. Right. So you tap here iPhone, like it, it has written the iPhone here and after the search. So what I will do, uh, I will give some wait time. So you can see here again, I will give you some thread dot slip. You can see what happening exactly. So thread dot slip and I want to wait for four seconds. Again, I will return this code. You can see this icon has been uh, typed and after that you click to the search box and you can see this result and after that that browser got quit right so this line of command will help you to uh, send keys then click and the wait okay now what next so i was talking about uh, this uh, synchronization right so what is basically synchronization so what happened uh, as of now let's see my network is working fine and the response from the application application side is also good okay but sometimes what will happen let's see you type this iphone and after that you click to this search box and it will let's say sometimes it is taking much time uh, to load this particular page and at that time let's see if uh, uh, this particular element has been not displayed within uh, like 30 second or one minute like certain period of time so at that time what will happen uh, this your code will fail because let's see after search let's see searching this one uh, let's see if you want to uh, click to particular element uh, whatever the element uh, came here right so this is iphone so what i want to do after searching that i want to uh, select the first element present here so let's see how i will write the x path x path is this one d plus a selection plus s image source we have to find some uh, unique properties okay so what i will do uh, okay let's see if i'm using this one Scan. Yeah, after that, it come here. Mm. 
that I can go now. Okay, please search again this iPhone there now. Let's say I'm inspecting this one. And this class is there, right? So I will write the XPath of with the help of this class. So I will remove this ID and here I will write at class and here I will write this class value. It's not highlighting, so of course we'll have to figure it out something else. Inspect to... Okay, so what I will do, uh, I will write the XPath with the help of this uh, text itself. Whatever the text it is coming, right? So what I can do here, one more second. Okay, here we will change the tag. One is working, not working, okay. Stars, then I will write this contents text. Contents, then I will write this text. Still not highlighting. Okay. Okay, we have written a strong X part actually. So here I have to write a star. Inside that you have to use this contents. Contents. Then you have to write this text and here you like this. Okay, so you can see that there is two element uh, with the same text. Okay, so what I will do, I want to click the first element. Okay, so I will just give the index first. Okay, so now you can see there is only one element highlighted and it I can easily Click to that particular element with the help of that post. Oh, I have not copied that one. Ah, okay. So what I will do? Control A, Control C. Fine. So what is my requirement here? Uh, remove this flip part. I don't want any more. I will use this Amazon only. So, so after clicking, uh, like uh, searching the iPhone, I want to. Uh, click on the first element okay so what i was trying to say here so yeah driver dot find element by dot xpath and then here i will write the xpath here and then dot click Okay, yeah, so uh, my what what I was saying, so let's see, uh, once you uh, search this particular icon, after that, uh, you can see like few result can, right? But sometimes what will happen, let's see, it is taking some more time to load this particular uh, element. And at that time, if you will not apply this synchronization method, that time it will fail your test case. So first, let me run this test case and what happening. And then I will explain you how you can uh, put this synchronization. You can see this Amazon launched and uh, I console. And after that, it selected this first uh, particular iPhone. So where I will put this synchronization. So let's see if uh, this particular element is taking more time to uh, launch. Uh, that time, what you have to do? Uh, you have to give some wait time. So this thread dot slip is not a good practice to know, like uh, in your project because Thread dot silk like is kind of hard coded value. Even your element will present uh, in uh, two second or five second, and let's say you are here, you are giving twenty second. Okay, so that time what will happen? It will unnecessarily wait for twenty second. Okay, so now how I can handle this scenario? Let's see my if my element uh, is presenting in five second. So at that time also it's work. If it is presenting in the ten second without wasting time, it uh, like our test case should not fail, and it will wait for only ten. Second. Second, so for that there is two concept. One is this uh, implicit weight, and one is the explicit weight. 
so i will uh, show you what what is the difference between them so simply i will search here implicit weight and explicit weight okay so what i search here implicit weight explicit weight and there is one fluent weight as well so first i will go and discuss this uh, what is the implicit weight and the command is very simple you have to just copy this driver dot manage in short time out okay so i will show you here in our code okay so once you have initialized initialize your driver so where you have initialized this one right so driver equal to new chrome driver and after that what you have to do you can give all uh, you know command on that driver level so let's see i want to give this driver dot uh, driver dot manage dot delete all cookies okay so this also you can do and then driver dot manage or i will simply put the line what i have copied right this one driver dot manage dot times out then implicit weight and time unit into second so here you can change the time unit if you want to put in minute or whatever you can change from here so basically generally we put in the second so import time unit and this line of code will help to wait uh, your browser for the 10 second now what what i have done here you can see here i have initialized the driver and after that at the driver level i am giving few command here right and up, after that i started using this particular driver so this this is called implicit wait and what it will do it will wait for 10 second maximum this is the maximum time it will wait wait for any element and in that particular time if element will present it will uh, perform action on that particular element otherwise it will uh, throw an exception like uh, driver not found exception or not not clickable or anything right so for that only we are giving this implicit weight and if you are using this implicit weight that time you don't have to you know like uh, wait uh, like give this thread dot slip and all it will automatic uh, help you to wait for element for 10 second and the best uh, use of this implicit weight is like let's say if you once you initialize that particular driver and you are giving this command it will work throughout your like you know entire uh, test case so whenever you will use this particular driver it will applicable for every uh, driver actually so let's say you are using here right driver dot find element and this element you have searched so this 10 second will you know like applicable for this particular element as well this 10 second will again applicable for this particular ele element as well so you don't have to write every time like th like the thread dot slip right so thread dot slip what i have done if i want to wait after this particular action i have to give this thread dot slip right again i if i want to wait for four second again i have given this four second right so this this time you don't have to uh, give uh, this uh, thread dot slip every time or this implicit wait every time this, like only one uh, like once you initialize your driver and at that time only if you will put this implicit wait it will work in your entire test case so that is the beauty of this implicit wait now let me uh, execute this test case what's happening is see so you can see it's like run very fast right because as of now the response from the browser it's uh, it, it is not taking much time so this 10 second doesn't mean like uh, it will wait for 10 second unnecessary if we are able to find element in one second only it will find element and it will perform action but this is the maximum time it the our driver will wait so within 10 second if the element will not present that time our test case will fail okay so if you you can increase like up to 20 second as well because sometimes what will happen uh, like few uh, page take more time to load and all right so this is the maximum time you can put it from here so this is the implicit weight so any question till now like anyone have like uh, i am going fast or like whatever things i have explained everything is like clear till now or if you guys have any question till now uh, 
Uh, sorry to interrupt you. Uh, can you explain about implicit and explicit one more time, sir? Actually, I got a call, uh, so that's what I didn't uh, hear that one. Okay, so see, implicit it means like uh, once you initialize your driver. So let's see here, I have initialized my driver, right? Web driver, driver equal to new prom driver. Now I have created this object, and on this particular uh, object, I have applied this all command like driver dot manage dot window, then delete all cookies, and I have apply this implicit weight as well, right? And what is the use of implicit weight? Uh, you can give the maximum time, like you can set your time as per your uh, like requirement. So let's see, I have set this 30 seconds. So this 30 seconds is the maximum time for which the driver will wait, okay? And you can see everywhere I'm using the same, this driver, right? This driver, everywhere is the same driver. So once you apply this uh, implicit weight and after that, Whenever you will use this driver, this 30 second will be applicable for every driver. Okay. Now, this 30 second is the maximum time for which any it will wait for any element. But it doesn't mean, like, let's see, uh, like I click here, right? Uh, once I will go to here, Amazon. Okay. And uh, let's see, I search something. I search this iPhone. And I can see, like, within a second, I can see this particular iPhone, right? The result of here. So that time it will not wait for 10 seconds. Like it will like start performing the action. Okay. But sometimes what will happen? Let's see, once you search this particular iPhone and it is taking much time to load. So that time it wait, it will wait for maximum 10 seconds. But within one second or two seconds, it, it will find it will like move on. Got it? Yes, yes, yes. I got it. Okay. okay. Now, second okay. thing what I what I have explained, you don't have to use this driver.manage.time like every time. Like, let's see if you have, have performed this, uh, you want to ap apply on this particular element, you don't have to again put like again and again. Only once if you have initialized, that is enough and it will be applicable, applicable for all driver in one shot. Okay. Now, second thing, let's see if you copy from here and you put it here and you make it, let's see, 20 seconds. Okay. Then what does it mean? Can, you, can anyone explain? Let's say I have uh, written here as well, and I have written here also. So here I put this 30 seconds, here I put 20 seconds. What does it mean? I think, I think it will take only for uh, 30 minutes one. The first driver, uh, it will applicable for all drivers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so correct. So what will happen till line number this, 43? I'm using the same driver, correct? So this 30 seconds will be applicable for everyone like all driver and but after that what you have done you have changed this time right so now onwards whenever you will use this driver this time has been updated with the 20 seconds so now if this the time is 20 seconds only again let's see after that if you again change the time here only let's see you let's see you put it 50 seconds okay so what what it had done so the first is changed to the 20 second again it changed to the 50 second so this is the latest update. So it will override your time. Okay. Got it? Any okay. question? This is, yeah, this is uh, instead of a thread dot sleep, uh, we're using uh, this uh, uh, command, right? Okay. So see, thread dot sleep means it will hard coded value for four seconds. Let's say I, I put this four seconds, right? So it like it don't have any, uh, you know, uh, relation with the driver. It will stop your execution for four seconds. So what will happen? Let's see you search this iPhone and you click it here. So you got this LM, uh, like all result within a second, right? But still it will wait for four seconds or whatever, like let's see if you change this uh, 10 seconds, it will wait for 10 seconds, okay? But the implicit wait means this is the maximum time it will wait, but let's see if uh, element will present in one minute, it will uh, take that element and it will uh, uh, move forward. So this is the difference between thread dot slip and this the implicit bit. Okay. Okay, fine. Thank you. Okay. Now coming to the explicit weight. What is the explicit weight? So explicit weight is always uh, at the element level. And implicit weight is always at the driver level. Driver level in the sense you have to initialize that uh, this time only once at the driver. If you again update it, after that it will be applicable for all driver uh, after onwards. Okay. But Explicit weight is the at the element level. So what is that explicit weight? First I will see and then I will explain it. Okay. 
so here you can see this uh, explicit weight in the selenium and the command is here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. element this one then wet dot until yeah so this is the command by expert okay i'll just copy and i will explain you okay so i will remove this x path is not required Okay, so we will man to do to so you have to import now again wet dot until expected condition. So I have to import this one as well. And here wet cannot do what do they see? One second. Element here. Then There is some switch coming with the explicit weight. Okay, first I will explain what is this, and uh, I will say like uh, I will try to resolve this. So what happening here? Uh, this line of code, let's say I will copy. And here it is. Uh, let's export. Okay. So what this line of code will do? Uh, I will I will like, like resolve this weight later. Uh, but as of now, I'm just explaining like uh, what is this uh, explicit weight. So let's see. Uh, you want to apply this uh, explicit weight on uh, any particular wave element, and uh, what it could be. So let's see. Uh, once I search this particular iPhone. Okay. So you want to wait for this particular element will be present. Okay. So what is that particular wave element? Uh, uh, where is the x path of that element? Yeah, this one, right? So you want to apply this explicit weight on this particular element. So once you search the iPhone, after that this iPhone came, and let's say it's taking more time to uh, display. So you want to apply the explicit weight here. So what you have to do, the, the first thing what you have to do, you have to use this wave element. Okay, so what is wave element? Wave element is like whatever the element it is coming, right? And you are just uh, giving an any name. So let's see, I write here uh, first iPhone. Okay, so whatever the iPhone present here, right? Once you search the iPhone, I just gave a name of this wave element is first iPhone, okay? And after that, what I've done? So first iPhone equal to, you have to use this wet dot until, and here is the expected condition. So this expected condition can be like many things. So here, what we have written, the vis visibility of element located, or you can use like is element displayed. So there are multiple uh, action is there. So I will show you this expected command. I will remove this. And here you can see. Dot element. So you can see element to be clickable or element to be uh, selected. So this this all you know uh, the method present here visibility of element. So what it it will do? It will wait for this particular condition. So here I what I want till the time this element will be displayed, it should wait for that particular element. So I what I will do here? I will use the same command like uh, this one. Uh, uh, 
visibility of element located so till the time this element is not visible uh, this this will uh, this explicit weight will apply for this particular element and i want to start this element by xpath again right so what i will do uh, submit dot button and this is the xpath right so i will just copy this particular xpath and i will put it here okay it, so this has been applied here and then what it will do i will explain you what, what what like what exactly it has done so i will first i will initialize this web element right i have just given a simple name like first name and i have stored this uh, particular first element in this uh, first iphone correct and it, what it will do it will wait for this particular thing and after that uh, it will click here so it will wait for how much time that also i have to put it here correct the x bar okay this line actually i missed so that's why this is was running wait available moment wait dot until function Here you have to use this web driver. Wait. Equal to new. Web driver. Wait. This is the fluent wait. Now uh, with the explicit wait. Okay. So here you have to give this first right. Web driver wait equal to new web driver wait. This line I missed, so that's why that issue was coming. So we have driver wait equal to new we have driver wait, and here you have to give, pass on your driver, so the driver which I have created, right? So here you have to pass this particular driver. Okay, now you can see it will ask some import. This timeout. So timeout, I want to put this thirty second. Okay, now you can see the there is no issue, correct? This because what what is your first action where driver wait equal to new wave driver wait and th this has been, this will be used for the explicit wait and here you can see the maximum time it will wait for any particular element okay and once you get this particular uh, reference of this wait you will apply on your particular wave element so it will wait until expected condition and what is the condition you have put visibility of element located by x path so it will wait for this element till the time it is vi visible and once the if the element will be, will be visible you can directly click like so first iphone dot click okay and the maximum time you have set it here so once now if i will execute this particular uh, okay what is this uh, i missed something Ah, okay, so let's see. I will execute this one. What happened? Okay, so you can see like uh, it's work like work properly and uh, it's not stuck. Uh, see, as of now, like you you are not able to relate uh, this command because. Uh, the wait time, whatever we are given, right, and uh, whatever this uh, element is presenting, uh, this uh, iPhone, right, so it's very fast. So, it, like, uh, it, it, it's not required to wait for this particular element. That's why you, you know, like, uh, you can't understand. Okay, this element uh, line of code is working or not. But once the response will not come properly from the browser end, that time this will be very helpful. Now, second thing, what is the difference between explicit wait and the implicit wait? So the first difference is implicit wait, wait is always applied at the driver level. So once you will initialize, it will work for all driver you will use, right? So this driver you have used as a reference. So it will applicable for every driver whenever you will use this 30 second as an implicit wait. But explicit wait is at the element level. So 
this line of code will only apply applicable for this particular element so till the time this element will not present the driver will wait for this 30 second so any question like in the understanding of implicit wait and uh, explicit wait anyone have any question Okay. Uh, no. Then, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Suman, Suman, I, I have one question. My name is Tarun. So, sir, for implicit wait, what I found like, uh, is it to wait for the complete page load or uh, for any that particular element? I mean, uh, we have to wait. I mean, this driver will wait. So this uh, this will wait for that particular element only, not for the uh, like uh, page load. So for the page load, you, we have another uh, command. So what is that? I will say, tell you. Let me search driver dot wait dot. Okay, we'll search at the Google. Uh, is load time cylinder. Uh. Is load time command. Not this one. Driver dot manage dot is load. Okay, I will search and I will like ping you. So see like, the way we have used this one, right? Uh, Right, that our code. Uh, 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 here, here, here. Yeah. So here we have used like uh, the, we have given multiple command, right? Like driver dot manage, delete cookies, or something, right? So here only you have to uh, give that command as well. So whatever the time you set, it will wait uh, like every time once any page will be loaded. Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, what I, I found some so sometime you know the uh, on page loading like some element. Uh, uh, and get visible, but some of them like or uh, not uh, loaded on that page at that time. So what? I um, mean, in that case, that implicit wait work or not? So implicit wait uh, definitely will work. So because this will, uh, uh, you know, apply applicable at the driver level, and till the time that uh, particular element, uh, you know, it will it uh, is not interactable. Let's say if you want to click, so sometimes it take more time to load that particular element, right? So definitely that. Uh, 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 it will uh, this implicit wait uh, will work. The page load time is different thing. So let's see if you navigate from one page to another page. Okay, so let's see. Uh, we have Amazon, right? And here you here you have clicked this particular mobile. So as of now, you can see this uh, the URL got refreshed. Correct. So sometimes uh, what will happen? Uh, it takes some more time to refresh this particular page. Correct. So that time for that purpose, we give this uh, page load time as well. Uh, like what is this? Driver dot menace dot some we'll see some page load time is there or not. Okay, I, I like I will ping you. There is one one line of code is there. I will search and will ping you. So here you have to put. So it will uh, help you to, uh, you know, once this particular page is loading. Uh, so for that it will help you. So it will wait for that particular time, whatever the time unit you will give here. Okay. So this is fine. Then what I was tell, uh, asking, yeah. So implicit wait and explicit wait. So any confusion or any like have you any so to understand what is the difference between implicit and explicit? Okay, no, then fine. And then then it, there is one more weight called fluent weight as well. So that I will also explain. So it is similar kind of, uh, you know, this uh, explicit uh, set weight only. So what is that? Uh, let me come here, paste this line and this line as well. So I will just simply explain like what is the use. You can uh, try from your end. So here you can see, uh, in the explicit weight, we have one condition and we have uh, this time unit, the maximum time unit, it will work, like it will wait. So the, in the similar way, uh, we have uh, uh, this uh, fluent weight as well. So here you have to give this again, the driver, 
driver and here time out so time out i want to let's put again 30 second and then poly every so let's say i am putting this 5 second and ignore this one and i have to import like this again 30 what is that time out in seconds so let's see i will put this one fine then uh, this one i will give this 30 time unit i put i guess like this i guess okay so this is the time unit is asking you all and here is the five second and the weight again i have to import then plant weight also i have to import and here i am putting let's see weight one because weight uh, reference i have already used here right so that's right so i use this weight one and uh, okay weight weight equal to new plant weight okay it's the same one so this one is done now what they have done again mm -hmm. after writing this uh, they have used uh, weight command can weight dot until very bad wait dot until until and here again you have to give the command element to be present or something like that okay in the same way okay so uh, i will tell you like what is the difference between uh, this explicit weight and the fluent weight so in the similar manner like uh, how we have uh, uh, we have given this wave driver weight equal to new wave driver weight and we have passed this reference a uh, driver and the time unit so in the similar way you have to give for the fluent weight as well so here you have to write weight again this weight one equal to new fluent weight and here you have passed this driver the only difference is here in the explicit weight, the driver will wait uh, for this 30 second and this is the maximum time unit and before that if this particular element will present, uh, it will interact with this particular element, whatever the action you have performed it. But in the case of fluent weight, you can see there is one uh, extra parameter called poly, poly, uh, polling every, okay. So this 30 second is the maximum time, un time unit it will wait for and this 5 second is the frequency. So what is the frequency means? So it will try to find that particular element in every five seconds. So let's see you have given this uh, six, uh, like 30 second is the maximum time unit and the five second is the polling every time. So in every five second, it will try to find this particular wave element. Okay, so it is kind of, you know, like uh, uh, a little bit more faster uh, than this uh, explicit weight because in the explicit weight, again, the driver will like, uh, there is there is no frequency set like in ev uh, in every watt time this uh, element uh, like the driver will try to find this particular element but here in the every five second it will try to find this particular wave element so this is the only difference between uh, explicit weight and the fluent weight now one more question guys so when we should uh, use this implicit weight and when we should uh, use this explicit weight anyone Anyone have idea? So we have uh, implicit weight and we have explicit weight, right? So what is the purpose like uh, when we require this one and one when we require this one down one? Anyone? Okay, so I will help you. So see, sometimes if you like, let's say if you know like about your application, like it is uh, taking not much time or the like page load time or the whatever the element is displaying. 
it is coming in like you know in uh, the constant time let's say within 2 second 3 second or 5 second the maximum time is taking so if you know that things that time you can directly use uh, only once this particular implicit weight and it will work into throughout your uh, test case but if you aware like sometimes we could be internet issue or sometimes the application is uh, giving a delay, like a very slow response and you know like sometimes the element will present in one minute or five minute like there is no uh, certainty like it will like, uh, come in five minute only or in one minute or 30 second so that time you have to use this particular explicit weight at the every element level but if you are using this implicit weight then don't use this one if you are using this one then don't use this one why because it will mix up your time so let's see if you are using this implicit weight as is a 30 second and again you use this explicit weight and you are giving this uh, 30 second again so the maximum time it will sum up so this 30 plus this 30 it will come one minute so uh, unnecessary like every time your browser will wait for one minute actually okay so don't mix both thing either use implicit or either use this explicit weight okay so any question till now or like uh, we are done for the day uh, so you can ask if you have any question or otherwise we can explain this uh yes yeah, suman suman where we use this fluent weight i mean find about uh, this uh, say, i mean explicit and uh, implicit what about this fluent weight where we can use this one okay so this fluent weight and the explicit weight is kind of same only because in the both uh, weight, we are giving some condition at the element level, right? So here yeah, also yeah. you can see I'm waiting for the element is visible. Here also you can change the, like, uh, I, wa I want to wait for this element is visible. So both are at the element level only. So you can use this one or this one, anyone. But the thing is, this fluent weight will, weight will be a little bit more faster because we have one another parameter called polling every. Okay. So this means, so what, let's say I have set this two seconds. So what it will do in every two seconds, it will try to find this element and the maximum time it will wait for 30 seconds. But that condition is not available in the explicit weight. So you can use this one, fluent weight. Yeah, will, a little bit more fast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Thank you. Cool. So anyone like any other question? Like as an open forum, like you can ask anything. Uh, okay, fine. Like if no, then like uh, I'm done for the day. Uh, so what you people uh, will do? Like uh, you as now you as start trying, you know, like uh, playing with the selenium. So like the maximum time will play. Like you know, like you will like understand the more uh, you know command and all. So the best way is uh, you can use this one. Uh, let's see, you use this driver, and then you search this dot, and you can see there are multiple method is coming, right? Let's see, get title. So if you want to get the title also, so let's see what is this get title here. You can see this get title, right? So once you'll do this, what it will do, uh, what are the page it is open, right? So it will paste the title of this particular page and you can uh, print here, this one, like here, system dot out dot and here you can put this, Okay, so what it will do, it will uh, face the title of that particular page and you can print it here. So like, that way, like you try to explore more code. Okay, and uh, if you want to uh, like see what all the code is available, you can uh, go with this uh, site as well. So let's see Guru 99, Selenium, I will go here. So you can see like uh, there are like different way. Uh, so let's see uh, text box, submit button, send keys, click. So you go one by one code and uh, you try to understand like what is the use of which command and all. And uh, like after that, if you have any confusion, like uh, we can discuss. So in that way only, you know, like you will get more confidence on you. Or otherwise like uh, simply, uh, you know, like uh, watching video or like whatever I'm explain, explaining. 
that is not enough like you have to practice by your own then only then you will get confident uh, you know confident and if you you will stuck that time we can resolve the issue okay fine then like thank you thank you so much uh, guys for the joining uh, we'll connect in the next uh, class like i i will inform you people thank you so much it was a nice session thank you so much yeah yeah, yeah. thank you thank you so much so, bye bye